Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on kinematic analysis of mechanisms, graphical methods one. Under this, we are studying ICR method and relative velocity and acceleration analysis method. In today's lecture, we will continue with acceleration analysis of four bar mechanism with a ternary coupler link using relative velocity and acceleration analysis method. In the last lecture, we have done velocity analysis for this mechanism. So, this was the velocity polygon which we have produced during velocity analysis of the given four bar mechanism with a ternary link ABC. Now, for acceleration analysis, we have to determine two components of acceleration centripetal or radial component of acceleration which is equals to v square upon r and tangential component of acceleration which is equals to r into alpha so for that we will prepare a table first column we will list the links link oa link ab link bq element ac and element bc in the second column we will list the length of the links in meters Since we assume that one extreme point of link rotates relative to the another extreme point, length of all the links will act as the radius of rotation r. Now for each of the links, we will determine velocity of one extreme point relative to the another extreme point, which is equals to r into omega meter per second. For first link, link OA, we have determined velocity of A relative to O which is equals to 2.356 meter per second. For link AB, we have plotted the vector VBA. So magnitude of VBA is equals to length of vector AB into the scale factor of velocity polygon which is equals to 1.40 meter per second. For link AB, sorry, for link BQ, we have plotted velocity of B relative to Q. So magnitude of BBQ is equals to length of vector QB into the scale factor, which is equals to 1.7 meter per second. So for element CA, we have determined velocity of C relative to A. So its magnitude is equals to length of vector AC length of vector AC into the scale factor which is 1.4 meter per second now for element BC we have determined velocity of C relative to B whose magnitude is equals to length of vector BC in velocity polygon into the scale factor which is 0 0.25 meter per second so we have determined values of linear tangential velocities of one extreme point of the link relating to the another extreme point from the velocity polygon. Now from this linear tangential velocity we will determine radial acceleration and tangential accelerations. Time derivative of this linear tangential velocity will give two accelerations. We have seen this in the lecture on circular motion. So, radial or centripetal component of acceleration is equal to v square upon r in magnitude and tangential component is equal to r into alpha in magnitude. For first link, link OA, where VAO equals to 2.356 and radius of rotation is 0 0.150. Radial acceleration of A related to O is equal to v square upon r which gives 36.81 meter per second square and tangential component of A relative to O here by mistaken I have written AB it is AO so FTAO is equal to 0 because since for the input link OA only angular velocity is specified in problem statement not angular acceleration so we will safely assume that link OA rotates with uniform speed so it will have zero angular acceleration 
So tangential component of A relating to O becomes 0. Next link, link AB. For AB, FCBA is equals to 1.40 square divided by 0 0.375 which gives 5.23. Now its tangential component is unknown because angular acceleration of link AB is not given. Similarly for link BQ, we have FCBQ equals to 1.7 square upon 0 0.2, 40.45 meter per second square. Again, its tangential component is unknown because alpha BQ is not mentioned. For link AC, FCCA, centripetal acceleration of C relating to A is 1.4 square divided by 0.4 is 4.9 meter per second square. And its tangential component is again unknown because alpha or CA is also not known. Now for last element BC, FCCB is equals to 0.25 square divided by 0 0.0625 which gives FCCB equals to 1 meter per second square. Its transition component is also unknown since alpha CB is not known. So we have prepared the table to get the values of radial and tangential component of accelerations. Now we will plot these vectors in magnitude and direction in acceleration diagram. So these are the acceleration vectors to be plotted in acceleration polygon. For link OA, for link AB, <coughs> for link BQ, for link AC and BC. Now let us start with the fixed link. For fixed link OQ, since its velocity is 0, it will have 0 acceleration. So, zero, 0 acceleration vectors are represented by a point. So, I have represented total acceleration of Q relative to O using a point. Because total acceleration of Q relative to O is 0. So, it will be represented by a 0 length vector. Next, consider link OA. For OA, first component is centripetal acceleration of A relative to O which is equals to 36.81 meter per second square in magnitude and centripetal acceleration of A relative to O means centripetal acceleration of A when it rotates about O will act along the radius of rotation OA and it will be directed towards the center of rotation O. So this is the direction of FCAO. Centripetal acceleration of A relative to O along the radius of rotation AO and towards the center of rotation O. Length of this vector is 36.81 meter per second square. So we'll take some scale. Let us take scale of 1 centimeter is equals to 5 meter per second square for acceleration polygon. Now we'll plot this vector. FCAO whose length is equals to 36.81 divided by 5 which is equals to 7.36 centimeter. So we will plot this vector of length equals to 7.36 centimeters in velocity polygon in this direction using the rule of vector representation. Now read the name of this vector FCAO. Out of these two points A and O, we have point O with us in acceleration polygon. And FCAO for this vector O should lie at the tail of the vector. Or you can say O is the start point of FCAO. So we will start this vector at O in this direction having length of 7.36 cm. So this vector is of length 7.36 cm representing 36.81 meter per second square in this direction and the vector is starting at point O. 
So we have got a first acceleration component FCAOE vector polygon. Now to this we will add FTAO which is zero. So FCAO itself represents the total acceleration of A relating to O, which is represented by vector OA. Next, take link AB. For AB, the vector to be plotted is FCBA. Centripetal acceleration of B relating to A. So centripetal acceleration of B when it rotates about A will act along the radius of rotation BA along the radius of rotation BA and towards the center of rotation A. So centripetal or radial acceleration of B relative to A acts along the radius of rotation towards the center of rotation A. Now length of this vector is equals to 5.23 divided by 5 which is 1.04 centimeter. So to represent this FCBA we will draw the vector of length 1.04 centimeters in this direction such that the vector will start at point A which we know in acceleration diagram. So we will draw this vector in this direction such that it starts at point A. So this is FCBA which is equals to 1.04 centimeters in length. This direction is parallel to radius of rotation BA and the vector is directed towards the center of rotation A because we have assumed that B is rotating about A so its centripetal component will be directed from B to A and we have placed the vector such that it starts at point A because A is the start point of the vector which is known in acceleration diagram. Now to this FCBA we had to add its tangential component FTBA. We know that FTBA is always perpendicular to FCBA. Now magnitude of this FTBA is unknown so we will place this vector with arbitrary length. We will add this vector of arbitrary length to FCBA. This is perpendicular to FCBA. The next component to be plotted is FCBQ. Centripetal component of B relative to Q. So centripetal component of B when it rotates about Q will be directed from B to Q. And length of this vector is equals to 14.45 divided by 5 2.89 centimeters. So we will draw a vector of 2.89 centimeters in this direction at point Q because Q is known and Q is the start point of this vector. So we will start this vector at point Q which is having length of 2.89 centimeters and it is directed this way. Now to this centripetal component we will add its tangential component which is unknown in magnitude but we know that this component is perpendicular to FCBQ. So FTBQ perpendicular to FCBQ. We have added it to FCBQ. Now read the name of this vector. FTBA passes through point B. This FTBQ also passes through point B. So obviously point of intersection of both these vectors will give point B. Now this is tangential acceleration of B related to A. So arrow of this vector must point towards B. Also note that we are adding FC to FT. So both the vex vectors are to be placed tail to head. Similarly we are adding FCBQ to FTBQ. So we have to place both the vectors tail to head. So arrow goes towards point P. Now we will mark the resultants. FCBA plus FTBA will give you FBA. Total acceleration of B related to A represented by vector AB. Similarly FCBQ plus FTBQ will give FBQ represented by vector QB.
So this completes the acceleration polygon for the loop OAPQ. This is the acceleration polygon for four bar mechanism OAPQ. And next we will plot the acceleration vectors for element AC and element BC. So we have done with this up to link BQ. Now for AC, let us plot the vector FCCA. So FCCA is centripetal acceleration of C relative to A. So it will be directed from C towards the center of rotation A like this. So FCCA is parallel to radius of rotation CA and it is directed towards the center of rotation A. And length of this vector in acceleration polygon is equals to 4.9 divided by 5 that is 0.98 centimeters. And we know that the vector starts at A which is known in acceleration polygon. So we will draw this vector such that tail of vector lies at A and the vector will be directed in this direction and is of length 0.98 centimeters. So this is FCCA, centripetal component of C relative to A is equals to 0.98. Length of this vector is 0.98 and the direction is parallel to CA and it is directed towards center of rotation A. So FCCA starts at point A in this direction. Now to this we will add its tangential component which is unknown in magnitude. So we will add a vector of arbitrary length perpendicular to FCCA which represents FTCA. Next element BC. For BC let us plot FCCB. Radial acceleration of C relative to B will be directed from C towards the center of rotation B along the radius of rotation BC. The length of this vector is 1 divided by 5 is 0.2 centimeters. And we know that vector starts at point B, which is known in acceleration polygon. So we will plot this vector such that its tail lies at point B and it acts in this direction and having length of 0.2 centimeters. So this is FCCB vector is starting at B. So vector has started at B in this direction. Now to this FCCB we will add its tangential component which is perpendicular to FCCB. So we have added FTCB to FCCB. Now read the name of this vector FTCA. The vector must pass through point C and this is FTCB. This vector must pass through point C. So both these vectors are passing through point C. So point of intersection of these two vectors gives point C. Now we have to add FTCA to FCCA. So we need to place the vectors tail to head like this. Next we have to add F TCB to FCCB. So we have to again place the vectors tail to head. So we have marked the arrows accordingly towards point C. Now FCCA plus FTCA will give the total acceleration of C relative to A which will be represented by FCA that is vector AC. Similarly FCCB plus FTCB will give the total acceleration of C relative to B indicated by FCB and represented by a vector BC. This is resultant FCB and this is resultant FCA represented by a vector AC. This completes the acceleration polygon for a 4 bar mechanism having a ternary coupler link ABC. Now from this we will determine angular acceleration of ternary link ABC. Now for that, we can make use of FTBA or FTCA or FTCB because all these three points, point C, point B and point A will have same angular acceleration, 
since all these three points are lying on the same ternary link ABC. Now let us make use of link AB. So for link AB is tangential component of acceleration. FTBA is equals to radius of rotation AB into its angular acceleration alpha BA. So alpha BA equals to FTBA upon radius of rotation AB. So FTBA we have to write magnitude of tangential component of B relative to A in numerator which is equals to length of vector x b which represents FTBA. So length of vector x b will give magnitude of FTBA which is equals to 8.6 into the scale factor of acceleration diagram is 5 divided by radius of rotation ab that is length of the ab in meters 0 0.375 so alpha BA is equals to, after doing the calculations, we get 114.67 radian per second square in magnitude. Now to get the direction of alpha BA, we will make use of direction of vector representing FTBA. That is vector XB. So FTBA is going downwards. So point P relative to A or acceleration of B relative to A is going downwards. So link AB or link ABC will have the angular acceleration in counterclockwise sense. Thank you.